did. Episode it's so bad with us. Episode 73, back with the gang. You already back know the gang. 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 Back at You already know. Gang. It's Paris to Tokyo. It's your girl, Dom Lashawn. I be popping my shit here, there, everywhere. So you probably heard me somewhere. <laughs> it's your girl, BG with the TBG, your favorite plus size influencer. Ew. Ew. Oh, <laughs> it's my turn. It's my turn. Bay is in the house. Healer it's episode Bay. 73 with the gang. Your favorite lady gang yeah. is back yeah. here. Ladies, ladies, how was y'all week? How the y'all week. week? Mm. I didn't procrastinate this week. Oh, oh, that's um, good. I read like three books. Well, listened. Say that. I listened to three books. And that's it's all okay. the same. It's the same it's thing. All the yes, same. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, You're yes, eating it all up, up the same way. Yeah. There's nothing wrong um, with a little bit of oil. Packing this house up. We about to move in about oh, three exciting. weeks. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 I'm so excited. Wait, yes. so you organized the house and then and you. And then, listen, we talked you know, about all okay. that organization. It's okay. It's but guess what? Now you got a plan for how it's going to be. Yes, exactly. Now you have a whole house for you this for a while. Girl, can't wait. Can't wait. Saying, what a week for me! Yeah, she kept saying, oh. I can't wait to do this to the house. No, I'm saying, it's, no yeah. seriously. And I was just talking Throughout about how I want to go to IKEA and get yeah. some plants. Um, <laughs> my week was cool. It was chill. We're planning to go to Paris on Wednesday. Yes. yes. So, pack me in the suitcase. Let's go. Overweight. Okay. 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 Seriously. Um, but other than that, everything was cool. I cleaned up. I think I'm just trying to like catch up on some laundry and stuff. Make yeah. sure that I'm not coming home to chaos because that would really fucking blow me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't you yeah. hate that? When you go on vacation and you yeah. and you didn't the house it, it's you has to clean up the house has to be a certain yeah. way because then you come back you like uh, I want fr- yeah. I want fresh right. sheets yeah. I want right. to take a shower off the flight and lay down right. yeah. 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 all I all I want to yeah. do is hear that quiet. Air yeah. conditioning flush mm-hmm. in a clean home when Absolutely. I return. That's Absolutely. it. But yeah, other yes. than that, I'm blessed. I'm here. That's what about you, yes. Um, my week. I feel like it's the weeks have been going right. Like summer oh is going to be over Absolutely. already. Yeah. Um, I can't even recall what I really did with my week. To be honest, like yeah. I think I, you know, I went into work. I got some really positive news at work because my work life has been really hectic. Yeah. But I got some really positive news. I've been able to really po- like network with some businesses because yes. I'm looking for some swag bag sponsors for the picnic. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. just some exposures. For for small businesses who who want to be a part of the yeah. event. So I've been doing a little bit of that. So it feels like the week has been going by. What is your That's event? Good. Um, Tell the people so what you're doing. I, Tell us more. I, yes. So I am hosting a women's empowerment um, picnic this um, this summer. Amazing. Um, August okay. 7th. Um, and the theme of the picnic is called the power of belonging. Ooh, um, and I really thought about it because, you know, over this year, you know, these years, a lot of things have happened. Right. Yeah. And and just thinking about my own personal struggles of like being in certain spaces and feeling like, do I belong here? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then realizing that the power of belonging is within ourselves. Child, and I thought it was yep, very important yep. to like, you know really put that out yes. there and just be in a room with yes. other women to connect yes. because yes. I've really been on this, like, let's collaborate. Yes. This is not a competition yes. type of space. Mm-hmm. And so I literally thought about the event and then like, I was like, Love I'm dropping it. tickets. I, I, I talked about it on social media. Yep. People was like, oh, I'm going to come. I really thought that people were bluffing. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, I'm dropping the tickets on this day. I posted a flyer about how much the tickets were literally June 1st. I dropped the tickets out of like 12 o'clock by three o'clock. They were sold out. Sold out. Boom. Yes. So it'll be hey. at least a hundred women in this Love space it. together, um, giving black girl magic, very yes. bougie yep. vibes. Love um, it. Just well, you know really the girls time. are there. For yes, full support. absolutely. absolutely. So I, no. I'm just really excited about this because the pandemic had us all on lockdown. Yeah. Yes. I'm it. used to going to different events right, right, in, in the right. summertime. So I'm looking to network with women. Like, And there's people traveling. I'm like, and you know me, I'm super humble. Like my favorite thing, Cardi, you know, I got it from Cardi. I'm a regular juggler girl from the Bronx. I'm super right. humble about my shit. Yeah. And so when people are like showing all this love, I'm like, me? The niggas is like, no, but I love your voice. Why not you, ma'am? You know, and my friends do it all the time. Like, my friends say all the time, like, well, why not you, Brittany? I'm just like, you all you, Brittany. It's crazy because to think about this this little black girl from the Bronx in foster care emotional abuse, sexual abuse, all right. types of trauma, yeah. who's living in this space saying like, yeah. I'm not going to be trapped in my fucking yeah. trauma. Like, yeah. we're we going to do this. But guess what? But you, but you know what the vibe is? I want to I want to say something to that to affirm everything that you're saying. The vibe is that when you make a leap, God mm. will make the bounce. Mm. And that's okay. the thing. No, and yes. that's the fact. It's, yes. it's a yes. fact. Right. So you okay. believed in yourself enough to drop a ticket and that ticket's got bought. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's so, it. And, and then it, they didn't just get bought. They got sold out. So they got out. sold out. Sold out. So okay. About, so, I'm, I'm happy. No crumbs I'm happy left, places. literally. I'm, I'm happy, happy, happy yes. for all y'all. Yes. And to piggyback off of Brittany, I kind of had the same kind of reflection moment this mm-hmm. week because this week we I moved into a bigger 
better. Yes. 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 We say the window swing. I the window swing. Yes. Okay. It's and it's so crazy <laughs> because um, I remember when I first moved into my suite. It's this cute suite. I made it a home. I you was know, there. I mm-hmm. Yes. Diamond came and pulled up on me. I was there. And I moved into the suite and I knew it wasn't a big space, but I wanted to get started because I had a vision for it being something big. Absolutely. Yes. And um, there was a bigger suite and it was like gorgeous. Uh, too high on the rent, to be honest. Uh-huh. Um, I was willing to take the risk, but I was like, Pity Pat and I was like, ah, I don't right, know. Right, right. And it got bought. So I was like, it's okay. Yeah. Like, you know, one day. And then mm-hmm. the suite opened up. This other suite opened up. It's bigger, not as big as that one, but it was the perfect size, the uh-huh, window really views, is. all the the, all, just the all the vibes. I, I want the videos. Yeah. And I was gorgeous. like, I it's love beautiful. it. And I was like, okay, we're going for it. So I went and got the new suite. And shout out to Paris. Because not only she was in that mountain me, shit. Zoom, zoom, not zoom. only did she help me put up. <laughs> Sim, my, Sim, my. <laughs> who got the keys to my baby? Who got the drill to my drama? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Paris. <laughs> <laughs> so Paris actually helped me put together my first suite. And um, of course, she was there for the second one. Girl, yes, she was mounting my shelves, mounting my my. You was you was Bob. You was Bob. I told. I told. Girl, y'all. Sure. All right, Paris, you I make told y'all. I told y'all. I got you. I got you. Girl, honestly, I ain't shit. I, I was sitting on that motherfucking bed, child. Just a handy mama. Watching her. Cause my, <laughs> daughter, my daughter was there, too. Because I think it's important that my daughter sees me do things like this. I, because yeah. she can see, like, not only does my mom work, she's in here putting a suite so yep. that she can see these things. So, you know, I'm like, get your ass in the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Let's do that. Your little preteen stage, you want to watch movies, we outside. Yeah. Right. So, girl, her and, Paris, her and Paris out there drilling. Was, I'm on the I'm on, and you sitting there like, girl, I'm sitting there. Admiring the suite, like, look at this. this is it's so good. Nice. So, but to piggyback off of what you said, I remember having a reflection moment for a second. Um, you know, as I was walking out, I asked Paris, I walked back in, Matt. I was like, I love it. Walked out, I love it. Come back. Hold on, wait, what's up? I, I love really it. love it. Um, I went in, I was like, wow, like, you know what I'm saying? Who'd have thought? Like, you know what I'm saying? It might not be that big of a deal to people, but it's a bigger deal to me because, like you said, like, who would have just thought a girl of my background, the things mm-hmm. I've been through, now all of a sudden, you know, not only do I got a job, but I got a suite, like a space. I'm in Bethesda. As the you know right. nice bougie ass bougie you know what I'm saying I ain't giving no ranky ranky janky danky it's <laughs> right. giving real it's chic it's very queen. nice it is um, and I'm not even done with it and it just is like wow this you know it's I really black looked at in. like mm-hmm. it is it's like wow the sky's really the limit because mm-hmm. when I see those and I talk, you know I say all the time I got big dreams and yes, you know when I absolutely. hit these milestones I'm like bigger right. so I, and I realize another like, one. I can another, another one. one and it's I'm like a, this is mine yeah it's mine like, this is my shit mine this is my shit all the time I feel like every time I opened the key, I was like, wow, it's really mine. It's mine. Yeah. It's mine. Yeah. It's I sure. love that. You know, I love so. that for you because I know that you are doing really great things mm-hmm. in this space. And you know, a lot of the times you encounter different people in this world mm-hmm. who say that they are something that they are not. Yeah. yeah. And so it's so good to be in a space with somebody who's like really about genuine. Like, yeah. I'm not here, mm-hmm. LeBay. Like, I'm not on this shit I'm just really because it's a name or people are listen. into this space. You're like, doing a damn thing. This is my shit. Like, yeah. this is my craft and this is yeah. my niche. That's I'm perfect. And it's so crazy because uh, my client today, I was talking about it with her. She was like, yo, she was like, yo, this was beyond what I thought. I'm mm-hmm. like, thank you so much. You know, she was like, how long you been doing this? I was like, wow, now Pop that I think open. about it, okay. I've been meditating and preaching this meditation thing for oh, years. That's, that's how I it's met you. Not, you you're nothing not doing new, meditation. Right? Like, I'm not new to this. Yeah, they pulled up on me and she said, she said, come, come to my suite. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get you together. I came. She said, okay, so. Here's the thing. I specialize in meditation. This is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be the voice. You know, you know, <laughs> the said, voice and then, you know they so touched your hands. And she was like, yeah. and you know, I used to be really fucking crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've learned so that, you know, I've I got to tell way. people though. I and it was, people. it was just how she ushered me on the table. She said, so this is your time. Don't worry about the phone. Don't worry about anything else. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're going to get you together. Okay. So I'm going to let you get comfortable. And I'm going to kind of come right back. And then we're going to get started. Okay. I was like, okay. Hey, hey, I'm hey, like, I always, t- I always tell people this story because I think sometimes people like think like, cause my name is Hiller Bay. Like it's all love. Mm-hmm. Rainbows and I'm like, yo, I, I was cupcakes be... and Range Rovers, but she gonna throw them bows. Too. Okay, like, please no. Listen, <laughs> like, and I be telling them it's really a balance. Thank you, Paris. Mm-hmm. And no um, problem, but that's why it's so special mm-hmm. to me because I have come such a long way. Yeah. And now that I'm in this space and I'm really who I say I am, mm-hmm. and I keep working to even be a better person at that, it just means a lot to me. So my it means actually, a lot to me too. It, I see you, great. sis, and I'm proud of you. Thank yes. you so yes. much. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. I feel you. I hear you. Yes, you are seen, sis. Yes. Yes. I appreciate yes. it. So, you know, my week was great overall. Um, and of I course, the that. highlight of my week is obviously to 
you sit here with you guys. Absolutely. No, I'm always looking forward to Saturdays. I always forward to this. Saturdays, 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 Saturdays and yeah. the topics that we get to discuss because let's be let's be honest, you know, yeah. I've been watching the, some of the comments. I've been getting a we lot love of y'all. Yeah. Ladies, we love even y'all. the fellas who are out there listening to this, like we thank you. We appreciate the positive. Oh, we got so much support. So, so support. much. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is so dope. Like, it's it so is. dope. It's I don't know why. It really warms. Even just now, as we're talking, I'm getting mentions of the podcast. I'm yes, like, yeah, it's like, this, this is because they know. They know yeah. what's up. Yeah. It feels like good. To, yeah, it feels really good to be seen by you guys as well. Like just knowing that you guys value what the hell we over here chatting about. Yeah. Because I feel yeah. like we have a good time just chatting on yeah. our own. Yeah. But the right. fact we, that you guys really we enjoyed. Started, uh, before we, we started. Before we were just we chatting, just be chatting for chatting an hour. An hour just on 5,000 topics. It went from baby falling to Z. It went all over. It literally went to me getting a beating in front of the school. So we happy that we're able to really like you know, all yeah. for something that is relatable to you guys. You yeah, know, it's like, it's giving safe space for the girls. Yes. Yes. So, yes. yes. And I love when y'all talk to me. I ain't gonna lie, because I love talking to y'all too. Yeah, same. Like, Hit us yes. up. Yes. Jump in the mentions. Hey, girl. And if right. you have topics, topics, sis, that you're interested yes, in, yes, we can do a QA and stuff sometimes. Listen, pass it on because we are definitely women. Because they're pretty privileged. Like a yep. young lady commented on YouTube yep. and was like, What are your thoughts on pretty privileged? But that's what. And so I seen it a couple times when she put it on there. So shout out to her. Shout out to I was her. like, nah, she put it. She was the last time I seen it. She was like, y'all need to talk about pretty girl privilege. I was like, bet. We talk bad. about yes, yes. Yes. So yeah, we so, here. We and here. our topics today is real bad juice. So shout out to oh, Brittany. Man. Brittany, Brittany is on the vibes. Vibes. Brittany on the vibes. Brittany on the vibes. BG with the T. Put it on us. Okay? You got to be with these topics, yes. <laughs> So let's talk about sex. Baby. 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 Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about it. We play too much. Let's talk about it. Uh, Yo, one thing we gonna do is sing. You hear me? (laughs) Next girl group. One thing we gonna do is sing. Okay. And I love that for us. I love this. And have us something to drink. Too. And have something yeah. to drink. So a little wine is always little, welcome. We got better we got wine glasses. glasses. I know before we, we had the little tumblers. That's all right. <laughs> no, we got, we got, these are our custom cups. I should you know put, what I feel I like? dazzle our names I on I feel it. like right. Leonardo DiCaprio in that meme where he's like this. That's from Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that movie. That's my damn movie. That movie was so damn messy. Oh my God, it's good. Okay. Uh-oh. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. I love these topics so she much. She ready? Say that. Mm-hmm. So first thing we're going to talk about today. <laughs> oh my god! So funny because we slightly was about you to touch on it. I know what you about to say. Hey. Can you teach your partner how to sex you? Mm-hmm. And this topic, let, let's give it out because you know you never know who's watching. But uh, you know, I, I follow the spiritual word. You know, mm-hmm. they, they be mm-hmm. they be real mm-hmm. ratchet, but you know they send out their I nice love little, uh, asp- you know affirmations yep. and godly messages. Yeah, and but so I saw it on there. Toxicity. You know, I saw that topic on there, mm-hmm. and you know, I, I follow another friend of mine. Um, Chubbs and he you know he'd be talking about a lot of, he, he talks about, about a lot of stuff on here mm-hmm. and so I saw this and I was like I need the ladies to hear this yeah. because we need our, our own spin on it yeah. like yes. what's, let, let's, what's tea we like do. how do we feel about this um, especially <gasps> as women right especially when you talk about research yeah. that says that I, I believe the number is 31% of women do not have orgasms when they're having yes. sex. Nope. Yeah. I actually have quite men. a few friends who've nope. never had a orgasm. Damn, I feel bad for that. Sounds like oh, slave waste. Oh, oh, it sounds, sounds like, like never slavery. had an orgasm, like never. even with they sell Sounds like I got, slavery. I got, okay. Oh my God. I have one who hasn't had, like, who rarely has them, and mm. I have one friend who's never had an orgasm. Oh, sounds man. like slavery. Yeah. In the words of, yeah. Yeah, of, of Issa, I can't imagine. Broken pussy. Broken pussy. <laughs> oh, no. Because you know what? what's wrong with that box? You know what I'm going to say about this is, one, to answer the question, to speak directly to the topic. Yes. yes, I do feel like you can teach a partner how to please you. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't feel like maybe I had ever even really gave sex that much of a thought about my pleasure until I became older. Yes. And I'm going to say, yeah. and y'all know I got to get a tad bit deep on this one, but I feel like when I was younger and I was journeying through my sexual experiences and trying to find who I was sexually, yeah. mm-hmm. I think that I thought that pleasure was not for me. It was something that I mm-hmm. offered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So feeling good was a byproduct of offering something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I think that that also played a very large part into why a lot of my relationships kind of spoke to the fact that I was, I was more of a 
not workhorse. I don't want to say like that, but I did the work. I was more of the emotional person. Mm -hmm. I was the more of the enabler. I was the person, Mm -hmm. I got you. What you need, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I gave more than I got because I automatically thought that. I'm giving you my body for you. I'm not giving it to you for me. Mm -hmm. Especially on my early sexual experiences. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm older, I feel like I'm not fucking you if this is not about to be good for me. Mm -hmm. You know when DMX said, I gave you what you gave me, boo? I feel like it needs to be giving that at all. Right, right, right. right, right. Absolutely, 100%. I do understand, and and because of that statistic, that 31%, I do understand that every man will not know how to push your button specifically. Mm -hmm. Uh Sex can be good. It can be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It can be something that you really like. Damn, I really like my experience with this person. And you can still not come. Yes. 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 Because coming and orgasming is a completely different different thing than enjoying an experience. They could touch you right. It could feel good. And you could still not reach your Your climax. Right? So I think teaching a person is very much so possible. Like, hey, if you do it like that, or when I do that, that Mean don't move. That mean don't yeah. speed up. Yeah, that, that mean don't. Yeah. You know you yeah. can coach a person. Yeah. People can be coachable, but it takes patience and it takes you to step out of your ego for a little bit. And, and he can't ooh, be defensive about it. You yeah, cannot be defensive. It's just and, gonna turn and the that other was person off. Like my angle as well. Like a I lot of like men are defensive. Teach, yeah, you can teach. <laughs> you can definitely teach it. I feel like if they come equipped with the package, right? Mm-hmm. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I don't know how you can work with. And I mean, some people can. For me, at least come equipped with the package. But I feel like if you are willing, if you are very <laughs> if you are willing to learn with that person, right? It all depends on the relationship. Right? I think because that's a lot of times more sexy yeah. if you're just, too. If you're just in a relationship that's centered around sex and it's just yeah. fucking and that's just what it is, it's like, is somebody really going to take the time to really want to learn yeah, it? Because what else it's about be their good nut, at? right? Yeah, and, yeah. and they don't really care. But then you also do have, the, I, I do believe that there are men out there who do have like just sexual encounters, fuck buddies, whatever they want to yeah. call it. But because they're, they like, they get the satisfaction of making women feel good. They they will entertain yeah. that. But yeah. you know what but, I found? Uh-huh. Me, and, I, and I know this is probably going to be something that somebody out there can probably agree with. Mm-hmm. I found that the people who know how to please your body perfectly off the break are problematic as fuck. And you don't want them nowhere near you. <laughs> <laughs> the devil did. Mm, that's right. Do anybody though. that pop up like, yeah, I'm going to please your body. You're a devil. That. And after the sex, you be like, this, <laughs> damn, I don't need smoke. I want a cigarette. You feeling real, real <laughs> sexy. You like, damn, damn, that was good. You thinking about them. <laughs> you think about how you going to call them. They ain't left yet. Yeah. Like, hey, that's when you know I'm blocking too much. You. I'm blocking you, block you you and I'm blocking you because you too trying much. to ruin you trying to ruin me. Yes. That's how I feel. Yeah. I'm like, I like <laughs> so I kind of feel like I do want it to be kind of like I want it to be good, but I don't want it to be like, oh my God, I can't think past go because how can I really I feel like at that point my thought you don't stuck on no more. You know, yeah, I ain't gonna wanna speak up no more. I'm gonna be like, as long as you bring that dick back, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna be that person. Jacqueline Sullivan was talking about paying that man rent. Um, off that egg, okay? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She was paying that man too much. So much. much. So much. 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 Seriously, what is that? Stigmatized? I don't never want to be digmatized. No, seriously. Because that means emotionally it's going to be bad. Um, It's definitely teachable. Yes, <laughs> definitely mm-hmm. teachable. But like you said, you Gotta have be to willing. have the patience. You have to be willing. And the man cannot be defensive about you trying to tell him how to please you. Right, yeah. Like, don't take it offensively. You, how you going to tell I me what you that like? Bitch. Yeah. I'm not good that bitch. I've heard so, that. Mm, you yeah. you got to take your time. Absolutely. You got to yeah. figure me out. You got to yeah. touch me. You got to love on me. Um, Lick me here. Touch me you here. Know. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, but you know what? It's me? not all the same. To go into that, though, too, it's also about you understanding what you want. Mm. Your body. You got to know that body. Because you got to know your body. We want certain things, but we don't even know how to even Maybe convey you that. Touch on that. You know what I'm saying? Self exploration, like, ladies. It's so yes. it's masturbation so important. is important. It's imperative. It is it touching is. yourself, feeling yourself, just sexual moments. I'm gonna be really honest. Like sometimes, I'm, if I'm at home, right? All the time. I'm like, and even and I'm not I'm not talking about like just moments where I'm like playing with myself. But I would turn on some sexy music, yes. put on my heels. Absolutely. Sometimes Do I have so. a big mirror. Why yeah. not? And, and get the moving around. Right now. Okay. And I'm feeling myself. You, you have to. Oh. My favorite is to dance to um Summer Walker because uh, some, oh like, her vibes are good. Body, she body she come on, body, I'm touching yes. body. And just, mm-hmm. and those that, are moments sure. where I'm like trying to feel in tune with myself. It's yeah. also me building my confidence. Yeah, like, I'm looking yes. at making that mirror connection mm-hmm. as well. Because a lot of times I've, I I found that a lot of women don't really stare at themselves they have their body in the mirror. And some people don't even think they do that. In the man in the bed with another man, how are you going to mirror yourself? You're going to look. 
you know, nervous. Yeah. You're, it's not going to give yeah. you the pleasure that you really need and want. Absolutely. And talk to y'all coochies too. Now, here's the thing. I know that that's probably, that probably sounds crazy. No, that, no, was, it's, you know, but I know, I know a bunch of to... people. I know a bunch of people. I was just talking to a good friend of mine about this the <laughs> other day. And a lot of women still live in shame about sexual encounters that they had mm. that they are not proud of, whether mm-hmm. it be by force or voluntary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they feel bad. And it, as a result, they mad at their coochie. Mm. Like because you acted they, they, in some shit like, that I'm not like 100%. They don't, even want, they don't want to deal with the bitch. Right. Like, so now your coochie mad at you, girl. You need to talk to her and say, look, girl, I forgive you. I yep. fuck with you. I girl. forgive you us. Mind. You pretty, it's us. You we good. It's it's mine. You I'm ain't broken. It's, it. it's, it's us together. It's look, us we in this together sort of thing. You know, because once you know what your body need, how you need your body to be touched. Yes. Mm. Once you yeah. stop being shameful about the fact that you do need something out of the sexual encounter, because a lot yeah. of us were taught to be shameful about sex. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody mm-hmm. wants to have sex, well, but nobody because wants we to was talk about always yes. introduced yeah. to sex inappropriately. Yeah. We were never Absolutely. introduced always. to it in, especially, a, in, a, in a loving manner. Especially when you a little black girl is, yeah. you Ooh. fucking, you this, you that, I'm taking you, you in trouble. Birth control because you you being fast no. or something yeah. like that. What you time, tell the doctor when they ask you? Oh, I wish. How many don't... black girls actually admitted that they were sexually active in front of their doctor? Never. And they never. You know what's crazy? You know why? Because the about minute your mama, years old. The minute your mama <laughs> find out that you fucking you a hoe. Yeah, you in you trouble. Know, crazy. Yeah. And this is I'm super grateful for the experience that I had because my mom taught me about sex very early. Mm-hmm. She told me, Brittany, there was no birds and no bees. That this is how babies come. No stalk is coming. So don't be coming in and talking about when the stalk gonna bring you a sibling. Uh, Right. It ain't happening. Right. And my right. mom was very transparent and honest about sex with me to the point where I I wasn't like super anxious to figure out what sex was because yeah. she was so honest about it. And she didn't lie and say, oh, sex. Because you know, a lot of people are like, sex yeah. is bad and this, this, and that. My mom said, no, Brittany, sex is, it, it feels good. Like it feels yeah. good to the yeah. body. Pleasurable. But yeah. also, this is what comes with sex, yeah. right? And so yeah. my doctors think that I'm a little crazy because I go in there. If I think that anything is wrong, I go in there and I'm able to be like, this is what I think it is based off of X, Y, and Z. Right. My doctor's like, how did you know? And I said, me and this girl downstairs were in tune, but that's okay. because my mother taught me. Yeah. So when I did yeah. lose my virginity, I went to, I was still nervous because it's still, that's still like a big moment, yeah. right? Because they always tell you, you need to be grown, e- even though sometimes yeah. these grown women don't need to be fucking the way okay. they are. Right. But I told my mom and your mom was like, my mom was like, oh my God, you know, she was shocked. But it was mm-hmm. a long time. I had, yeah. This was my, my boyfriend for a very long time. Our families were mm-hmm. very much close, into, close yeah. together. She's like, okay, well, let's go to the doctor. We went to the, the doctor where my aunt was a nurse at in the hospital. And we went and it was, it didn't make me feel crazy. Yeah, or like, I'm happy I about felt, your experience. I yeah. felt good. And that's why I, I, I be like, I like to talk about it because like, if we don't talk about it, curiosity kills the cat. Yeah. And that's why so many Kill of these young child. girls get themselves <laughs> into crazy situations because mom and daddy, they don't want to talk about it. talk sex. about it. So now yeah. they're trying to figure it out and they get themselves On in some own. shit yes. that they don't even know how to get out. They coochie Ooh. cat talking to them and they don't even know or how to talk back or they get pregnant, for me. don't know what to do. So, uh, <laughs> come out here, LeBay. <laughs> as a grown woman who very much knows my box, mm-hmm. okay. Okay. I need a help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to teach anybody anything. Okay. Okay. And it's so crazy because, and it might be how my upbringing is. Can I jump in? Can I say something real quick? This is real messy, but sometimes the hoes can't fuck neither. All right. Oh, ooh. Ow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and sometimes sometimes the hoes can fuck, but not you. Yeah. They know how to yeah. please another bitch, a but bunch of other bitches, <laughs> but not you. And, and in retrospect, right. how not so You know much, what I mean. I know what you mean. I'm the expert. I'm the expert. Yeah, yeah. I'm expert. And I'm going to tell you Okay, why. expert. So I, feel I think that for me, like, I, you know, Teen mom, run my own life. I'm very dominant in every area of my mm-hmm. life. Yeah. I feel that. Bedroom is the only time I want to be submissive. Okay. Ever. Mm-hmm. Ever. Mm-hmm. I talk so much shit. <laughs> I run so much shit. You need to bitch I, that's me up a, in here. So yeah. Yeah. I bitch me up in here. And I feel like it's okay. So like to teach my partner is actually strenuous for me because it's like uh, another duty. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, Something okay. else I'll have to do. That's like, like something I don't want to do that. Like, you know I what I'm saying? That. And like even being vocal in my relations, I have to say, like, no, I like I would rather my man teach me something than to teach him anything. OK, not to say it like that. Now, no, I feel what you're yeah, saying. Though. Now, don't get it fucked you know, up. If like you come, that perspective. Yeah. And I, if you I, come in, you know, teaching, you know, you want that guac guac slurp slurp 10,000. Then, <laughs> then, then tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? I got you. You know what I'm saying? But you lead. I follow. But that like, also plays into yeah. that submissive role yeah. that you would like to play. Yeah. In yeah. Exactly. I, so I, for me, it's like I can't. 
I don't want to like if I if I ever like to get somebody like that. That's too much work yeah. for me. I yeah. Like I don't want to do that. I, I respect I don't. that perspective because a lot of the times we say, "Oh yes," yeah, and it's honest. Teach. But sometimes women don't want to feel like they have to teach. Yeah, that Girl, part I'm in because the room of everything get, that you have, you know, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> going on. Especially sometimes when you get the niggas who talk that talk, like, "Oh, this is what I'm about to lay the dick down. I'm about to lay the pipe down." Oh you my like, god, and then you're get in the bedroom and, and be sorry. Some sh- and yeah. it, it really be a lot of these people's favorite. Who be talking big? Right. And I, don't be the performing. They don't be really yeah. performing well, and I think that's very sad. Yeah, I yeah. think it's, it's, it's super sad. But Diamond, you said something earlier that that caught my attention. You know, because sometimes I be real, a little deep too, right? And you talked about how you felt like you know sex wasn't really for the pleasure of yourself, but for the other person. And I think that speaks to how they, how in uh, different cultures um, and, and things, it's yep. the, sex is for the pleasure of the man and not for the woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, that's why, you know, some countries yeah. they have the circumcision of women's clitoris because it's not and about you. And I think you. that may be why mm-hmm. too, like, you know, just to go deeper, a lot of the reason is as well is because, you know, again, we were always taught to please the man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so when you come up and like, oh, like, you know, so when I'm younger years, dating younger boyfriends or whatever always was like what you gonna do mm-hmm. what that mouth do mm-hmm. what what you about what you finna give Ooh. how you you know what i'm saying and i think that you know after you pass those phases and you get older and you realize like yo like i do a lot like i do mm-hmm. just as much you know what i'm saying you don't want to be nigga, what you always do feeling like what i gotta br- like what else i got like nigga Niggas be like, what you bring to the table and what that box do? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what what, 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 what else is my supposed to give? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then you almost feel like you gave everything. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't get nothing. And and some of us, you know what, well, honestly, to speak to what you're saying, I think sometimes it also depends on your mood too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when it, like, I know, especially now that I had kids and like I have a kid and everything like that, sometimes the day gets so strenuous that at the end of the day, I don't want nothing else to do. I just want to lay there. I just want to yeah. sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't want to have to do anything. So I understand like it being sometimes where if you are in that space you don't want to have to teach nobody yeah no we talked now, about I this don't last mind, time i don't mind but i just don't want to be like i'm just like coach i gotta coach you yeah, yeah, like, yeah, i don't yeah, want to yeah. get that. like I, I would mentally much rather, into the sexuality yeah, thing yeah too. i would yeah. much rather like we could feed off like it's good but yeah, i don't I, want to social cues like taking those yeah. social cues yeah, okay, so yeah, 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 cues say, before the show cues. i would <laughs> rather somebody who's sexually compatible and has sexual chemistry with me mm-hmm. versus somebody who does not have sexual chemistry with absolutely. me. absolutely if you do not have sexual chemistry with me i don't even want to do it because I think Again, that's I have so a question. important. I don't do you do think it's possible to lose sexual chemistry absolutely. with a partner? Yes, absolutely. 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 I do. Absolutely. I do. I read something. Y'all know I'm always reading. Yeah. Um, it said that sometimes people can disappoint you so much that you turn off. I agree. I, I'm going to 100%. I'm going to chime in on that because um, with my past relationship, uh, I, I don't know how long we were together. Maybe like four or five years. And at the beginning, everything was naughty. Like, I'm talking about naughty. Okay, videos. Naughty. Yes. Come and, on, naughty. Okay, like, I'm talking videos. <laughs> I'm talking choking, all that nasty shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. But after a while, after we had our uh, son, it just changed. Mm. And it was, it wasn't sexual anymore. It was more so we were just friends. Mm. And um, the bedroom just completely fell out for us. And mm. we wasn't having sex. What do you and- do in those cases? What do you we guys broke think? Up. <laughs> God, we broke up. We broke up. We broke up. Since say, we're talking about mm-hmm. teaching and different things like yeah. that, I asked that question because I'm sure that there's people out there that's kind of like, damn, I'm in that situation now. How does one revive something like so that? So what I will say is, I, you know, like- Is that considered teaching? So I, I'm not a person who ever like casual sex. I always say that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, ah, like, I, so like, I, I gotta like you to fuck you. So, you know what I'm saying? All that to Absolutely, say, if, I, if I'm in a situation where I feel like the situation is turning off, like, I definitely recommend, like, I don't want people to think, like, you know, in some cases, yes, leave. Because it, it depends on the other factors that yeah, right. make that a big sure, thing. Because some things, so you, you know when you... She put the you wine go, glass yeah, down, y'all. Because <laughs> <down, laughs> you know I'm going to talk with my hands. You know, sometimes, like, some things aren't a big thing unless there's a lot of little yeah. things. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yep, so, therefore, like, the sex, us not having sex... Might not be the biggest thing, but we have a whole bunch of little things. Now, this is a big problem. Yeah. For me. yeah. yeah. Right. But if everything else over here and like just something around here is just not clicking, whether mm-hmm. I don't know, you might be stressed or going through some things. I definitely recommend just trying to relive a moment. Like, and I, what I mean is like, okay. OK, if y'all used to get down and maybe you might have to just initiate that this time. Right. And like, yeah. you know what, yeah. baby, let's 
Put your put your book down. Take your glasses off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Drop your drawers. I like I fuck with we in the kitchen, so it. what? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and find that space in because sometimes one person might be shut Break down. Break the ice again. Somebody's yeah, probably shut down, not turned off. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not a turn off, sometimes it's a shutdown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can fix a shutdown. Yeah. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? A yeah. turn off now we have other issues mm-hmm. and now we have to mm-hmm. fix through those issues. Is but a shutdown, right. Definitely. Right. Like if it's a shutdown. Baby, what you need, like how I can turn you on. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you know, right. but I, I think there is ways if people are in those situations, you don't have to yeah. look at it like it's the end Definitely, of the relationship. In my relationship now, there will be periods of times where we are, you know, what I'm saying we're not sexually active all the time. Like mm-hmm. we've been together for yeah. eight, almost nine years. That's what I want to say. And, I but agree. it's okay. I feel like it's normal to go periods of times. I mean, I'm definitely still very attracted to you, baby. Okay. Period. Okay, come on. <laughs> I'm very attracted to my man and he gives me everything and everything I need. Come on. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. I feel like he do. Okay. He gets gray head. He get the dick. You know what I'm yes. saying? <laughs> but there will be periods of time in our relationship where you know what I'm saying we go a week with not without fucking it's still intimate I'll still give you a kiss and this and a yeah, third yeah. but there is time can, where we can not can I say something because I was yeah. talking to my mama about this the other day shout out to mama but I was talking about about this with her and I was just saying like is it is it like Cause you know, I feel like at this age that we're in, like the thirty mark, the right before thirty mark, yep. it's when you start really to explore longevity in relationships. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I yep, feel yep. like long long term relationships in your twenties, y'all really ain't got a real method of madness yet. Mm-hmm. You know, you guys are still finding out so much about yourselves and your external, yeah. you know, movement Absolutely. part, moving mm-hmm. parts, and everything. You're still trying to figure out a partner, let alone how to do right. it together, right? Yeah. But as I get to this point, I be like wondering, like, I wonder. Y'all be fucking every day in your relationship? No. Because sometimes no. a bitch be so tired. I don't no. even want I don't even think about that. Absolutely sex. not. Mm-hmm. I can't. And my no. mama was like, No. No, everybody don't be <laughs> my mother married no. and she's been married a couple of times, but she was saying like Sex is one of those tricky things. And that's why when you get into relationships and you want that certain longevity, you have to have a friend in your partner. Exactly. Because if the exactly. sex is the only thing keeping you anchored, that it's shit going to fizzle out. Yeah. What if you got a yeast infection, a UTI, just had a baby, you're sick, exactly. something wrong, got a headache, you're going through it's some shit. So many yeah, different it's things so many and I'm so in my head that when I'm having a bad day, I can't even connect sexually yeah. because I'm exactly. so worried. I'm exactly. the same. Oh, shout out to Aquarius that, that might, that might, I, think that, I think that's a woman thing, though. When I'm checked out from the world, I don't give a fuck about I'm sex. like dead. Yeah. So, I'm so, not so talking about here we go. it. All right, ladies, so here we go me. because on this topic that we're talking about, about being checked out, about going through biological changes with our bodies and different things and just kind of being tired, yeah. it talks into what yeah. we're getting ready to talk in about. Mm-hmm. Do women have the right to withhold sex from their partners? Your body and is so, yours. No, 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 listen, but if so, with the withholding sex, if so, is it okay for your man to go out and do his thing, but here's a little dot dot yeah, dot, yeah. dot dot dot. Give here's me the, the fucking the dot, 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 dot dot dot. Is why do women use sex as a bargaining chip in their relationship? I'll tell you why. Come on, let's, can, let's can, get I, it. can I take go, this go right in? Let's go read them down, Diamond. All right, <laughs> all right. So boom. Like nah, I love a boom. So, so look, here's the thing: women use sex as a bargaining tool because we were taught over the time and history and and all of the things that we've been doing that that was the only thing we had to really bring mm-hmm. to the table: fucking, cleaning, and rearing children. Okay, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was what we were taught. We couldn't even get bank accounts back in the fifties unless we had a man's last name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we were taught that if you got good pussy or you know what to do with it, your wallet should never be Use empty, it. and you should know what to do yeah. and how to yield it and how to handle it in order to get what you need. Because that was the difference between. Having a man or not having oh, shit. Because yeah, remember, right. you had to have a man to have something back then, right? Right, mm-hmm. right. So this is something that's been ingrained in us. This is not our choice. If we could vote and do things on our own and have bank accounts and live on our own without the influence of men, I'm sure we would have been doing it. Okay. You know? That's a, that's a, that's a really so good point. I feel like, I feel like that's, the, that's the first point why we use it as a bargaining tool <laughs> because we were taught that that's the strongest card in our, in but our box. But it's not even just that we were taught. People still act that way. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is so, she fucking? Is she this or that? Yeah. That's why we use it like, as a bargain. You give her my pussy just, away? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's so, pussy? I was like, I feel like mine. So wait, so God men, gave so, me this pussy. So men aren't nicer to you after you fuck them? So here's the thing. Oh, they are. And that's that, and that's what I wanted to say is that do we have the right? See, that's that's also the language that we have been mm-hmm. kind of ingrained yeah, okay. to use. Do what we do you have mean the, the right? right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so mm-hmm. funny the because right. it's kind of like in a relationship or out of a relationship. And I, and I have said this a bunch of times to a bunch of different people in mm-hmm. a lot of different contexts, right? But this is my firm belief. 
I am a woman before I am anything. Mm-hmm. I am my own before I am anyone else's. Absolutely. To ask of me, to think of you before I think of myself <laughs> is asinine. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when I go through this monthly cycle and a bitch bleeding, do you got to put on a pad? No. I do. Right. Okay? If I eat a bagel and don't take no probiotic, you know who coochie going to be sticky? Mine. <laughs> not yours. Mm-hmm. It's not up to you to decide whether yeah. or not you should be getting sex in spite of what I may be going through mm-hmm. biologically. Right. Mm-hmm. right? And that's what makes me, that will incense me so much when women are having babies, when they're having different changes with their bodies. And men are like, okay, we'll take a plan B. Well, wait a minute. You don't know what the hormones are going to do to my body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe she suffers from fibroids. Maybe she suffers from picos. Mm-hmm. Maybe she suffers from all these different things where a jolt of hormones might throw her off. Completely. Right? Yeah. So yes, it's her right to say I'm not having sex with you under this condition or under this condition because that's her vagina. And to right. answer your question. And no, he don't have the right to have sex with nobody else. You signed off for me. So, here's so the do thing. you want me or do you just want thing. consistent coochie? To ask the question, if a man gets to step out, if you withhold the pussy, Stay out. Stay and maybe, out. Okay, because <laughs> I just feel like, to, maybe not get to step out, but is he justified in stepping no, out? Absolutely. Okay, no. but here's the thing. Here's the thing. You have a hand and there's, and there's lotion. There's okay, there's lotion. You better beat it up. There, there, all that. There's times when self love is the best. Men love. don't feel like fucking. Mm. The, when they're stressed out, work's bothering them. When they money stuff. ain't right. When they money ain't right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So do I get to step out? Cause you're stressed out. Oh, oh Lord. let me ask Don't you a question. Do you, step step mm-hmm. Do you get to step out? Do you get to step out when they got a nasty ass attitude problem? Cause they didn't broke down. Cause if something happened, they didn't even tell you what the hell wrong. And but you supposed no. to figure it out. Cause they didn't know. emotionally communicate that to you because you know they had yep. to hold it in and stuff like that. So you know they, you know they had you know, to. They, you know they had to because they, they didn't know how to express. Or they weren't it taught, taught to express. There we go. There we go. Or someone failed at teaching them emotional intelligence. Okay, so what happens when you date a girl that wasn't taught the same thing? Mm. Hunger See, games. See a lot. You know what? Really, <laughs> rot, you know what? Hunger you know what games? gets on my nerves. I don't even want to use it. You know what gets on my nerves? It's just my tears. <laughs> it's yep. always. It's always. I wasn't taught to. That's why I don't communicate. I, I don't I communicate like that. Okay, That's nigga, how, but you know but, that. So now, then, where do we do, fix it? Here, here we are. <laughs> we're in 2021. There was women who were brought up in the same exact under the same conditions and conditions that you were. So it's a choice. It's a, it's a choice. It's that, a choice. That's what it comes it's down to. It's almost as linear as like women always have to be the one to do the handling, to do the, to do, to do the, the okay. And then exactly we get the. stuck with, you know what I mean? Being the only one to, you know what I mean? To like, communicate. Yeah. yeah. It's, why do it has, why does it have to be that way? And so like, if you get to step out because I'm going through something and I'm withholding in coochie, then if I flip around and turn this out around and do the same thing, then it's, Oh, you, you a hoe. hoe. You, you a hoe. You, you stepped out on me. That. You, you, you gave it up. You didn't, you, gave it away. Hold on. you didn't hold me down when I needed you. <laughs> cool. You like, think no. about the amount of women who have been pregnant and then they've gone through their six week period of, you know, the bloodshed, the recuperating from uh-huh. delivery, all that. Yep. And they man just stepped out because they didn't bounce back fast enough. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> my coochie was in stitches. What you, Literally, what you and you think about Gucci? And we got was, bigger problems. That was my response when I kind of saw the <laughs> post. Was that women's bodies? We biologically we go through a lot of things, right? I can only so speak many from this perspective. We special, and I don't man. Know, I, I'm sure men go through different things that it's not really like highlighted or publicized as right. much as women's bodies, right? Because our bodies again are always the talk of the but time. Our, yeah, but right. our bodies but do a lot more do, special things, absolutely. And so you know, I thought about like what happens when women do give birth, right? What mm-hmm. happens when women even if maybe not birth, but they gain a little bit of weight and they may not be comfortable in their body anymore. Mm-hmm, yep. You know, now that was a big one. Out, yeah. Or you know, we're me. going through it and the different types of emotions. And it's like, we're going on a cycle. I don't want to be touched. Like, I don't, I don't yeah. feel good to please sexually. Like, mm-hmm. I don't even want you on my body. Shit, I don't even want to be in my skin right Brittany, now. Brittany, can I exactly. tell you a story? Yes, ma'am. I'm After- here. Sorry, guys. You know, we, we had, had a little switch set real Ooh. quick. Not a big we deal. Not a big we gonna find the aesthetics. Shout out to Jay Hill. You know you gonna find the vibes. Period. Um, Definitely found it. What Period. we left off is Diamond had a motherfucking story. Now. I did have yes, a story. Yes. And um, my okay. So here's the thing. My story. We were talking about sex and wait, wait, sis. Before we get into this, because we have been talking about things. We oh, cheers. Okay. They want this is a oh, shot. Yeah, this shot. This is a shot. Shout out to my queen and the Blood violet clots. <laughs> All right. Okay. Shout out to the lady again. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Cheers. Lord. Lord. Lord Jesus. 
Wait, that wasn't bad. It was smooth. at all. Wow. Wait, that was actually really smooth. For wow. that to be gin, that was outstanding. Oh, that lady. was cu- very cute. Maybe because I had a little bit of the pineapple. Okay, botanicals. Okay, McQueen and the violet. That was frog. very. That was very. I don't smooth. like it. I don't like, I don't like it. My baby said I don't like it. Was it was definitely smoother than any I don't other like gin, gin I've, I've ever had. Sure. Yeah, I'm not a gin fan, but this was good. This is yeah. decent. Okay. I'm definitely okay. tequila all the way. But my story was basically saying that after I had my son, I didn't feel like a sexual being. Like, yeah. I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, that period of being, like, when I was pregnant, ain't going to lie, I wanted to get hit every day. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, sex on the brain. I had nothing to do <laughs> but eat and be fat. I okay. was watching TV. I was like, shit. I'm only fat because I'm pregnant. Okay. <laughs> you know, slide on over here with me. Sort of thing. Like, I was with all of the vibes. Like, yeah. It wasn't a different body. Like, I feel like, and I say that, that statement to say, it wasn't a different body type to me. Yeah. Because I knew I was with a child. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to see yourself one way, and then the next day you look completely different, and it's not because I'm an actual cause. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's like... To be pregnant, it's like, oh, I know why. I can explain to my mental self why I look and feel this way, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I wanted to have sex every day. I was very horny. Pregnancy horny is a different type of horny, And I heard the men say that pregnant pussy is bomb. But guess what? My husband wasn't interested. Once I got really, really big, he was like, oh, no. And he he didn't want to do that. And that's how it is with a lot of men. They either want to fuck no matter how you feeling, or they like, oh, no, I don't want to hurt you. Okay. And my husband was on an I don't want to hurt you side. So on my first pregnancy, I will, I, I didn't, I don't think I had sex at all. Really? As a matter of fact, I did not. I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel pretty. Some people don't I lose didn't, it. I, they, they don't have it. They I wasn't with it. it. But my second pregnancy. They said that second child. Listen, they said that the second child. My, my pregnancy, was like with money. my son, okay. I wanted to do it all the time. But all once time. he came out, I felt like trash. Yeah. Definitely. Because I think, if, especially if there's any men watching this and you have expecting babies or you're trying to figure out what's going on with your current kid's mom or whatever, your hormones are in the trash yes. after you deliver. Yes. Mm-hmm. Everything that you've done for the last nine months just left your body with your baby. Mm-hmm. The placenta, the baby, all of the nutrients, all that even the milk that you have up in your, in your boobs, it goes to the kid. You are left with nothing. You have to like self mentally supply. prepare for that yeah. yeah and you are in the trash can i'm talking about you're sweating in the bed some of <laughs> us can't hold our pee our pelvic floor is trash yep. and then you come over there talking about well you don't want to sex me i feel like a trash i can. feel disgusting and it was periods of time like after i had my baby even when i was cleared to have sex you know when they said oh she cleared cleared physically mentally that's a completely different thing yeah my boobs would leak milk and sometimes I would My man feel loved it. that. Right. He was what? a freak. Okay, baby, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> listen. This is a disclaimer. Milk was coming out of my breast, and my man, it would like literally like squirt out. And really? my you man had a good supply. Like, ah. First of all, <laughs> first of all, you have a healthy immune system. And let me listen. tell you, one day I listen. came over, he like, yo. I got to tell you, I said, that's fucking disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. But you disgusting. know what? He probably has a very healthy immune system. But you know what? Not, no, but you know what? Some men are just turned on about all of what pregnancy Absolutely. brings to a woman. Yes, because yes. I do know, like, I've seen men, like, basking that. Like, they just love, uh, like, everything. Because women are naturally way more sexier when they're pregnant. Yeah, absolutely. Because, like, just the idea of a woman bearing a child it's and just completely sexual. I think especially for and men just, who are into like, their just, women. Oh, my God. Like, and yes. That's and that's how my husband really, was, really love that. But I didn't like You didn't like yeah. that. Yeah. And I think that that's, that was speaking to your point when you were saying, like, some women don't feel sexy on their own. My husband kept saying, no, you look good. You look real yeah. good. Like, I don't see nothing wrong with you. Even when I wanted to get my plastic surgery done, he was like, but why? Like, yeah. I like everything about you. Nothing's wrong with you. And I was like... But it's me. Yeah, I you feel like that me. way. Yeah. And now when I look in the mirror, I be like, oh, bitch. It's a bad, bad, right. bad, 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 to want to be sexy and want to engage in sexual like mm-hmm. encounters because I like the way that I look. I like what I'm looking at. Yeah. yeah. Before when I had like flapjack ass titties, I'm like, nah, <laughs> you're not, not feeling that. You so, wasn't feeling that. Yeah. Speaking on pregnancies, baby. Oh, is this a hot topic? Man. Plan B, me. I think uh-huh. this goes into a hot topic. Oh, y'all. This uh-huh. hot, let me tell y'all, this hot topic right here. Y'all finna be throwing something at the the computer screen. I'm glad phone. the air just came on because it was hot. It was hot for a second. Yeah. Y'all want a shot? Y'all ain't about it. So, oh, air like another one. Don't get me. What's up? But she say she don't. She ain't like it. I don't like it. I didn't. I didn't like it. 
violence. Choose violence. Choose violence. Choose violence. Of course I do. All right. Erica Mena and Safari. I don't like that. I don't That's like what it. I don't like. I don't like it. So, I don't feel it. So the the, the, the part of the topic, because, you know, there's two parts to Erica Mena and Safari, right? The, it's the part where we discuss his, you know, the clips that we've seen from this upcoming season of Love and Hip Hop, right? right? And him pretty much dismissing her, right? That's the first part. And I think the second part to that is when Erica is online and, you know, I'm going to pay it to that she is in a very emotional state. But addressing... The, the, the other woman, woman, the other woman, right? So in talking about this, right? Like, cause we, we gotta, we, you know, we gotta give us a two part, right? In talking about this two part question is, is it, well, let's hit the, 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 the elephant in the room. Is it okay for women to address the other woman, but not address their partner Depends. the way that they're going after this other woman? Never. I don't think so either. Yeah. I feel like, um, this is, has always been me. I feel like if you want to address anybody, you address the person who owe you something. Okay. And that's your man. And that, that woman, other woman don't, don't owe, owe you, you shit. Nothing. Nine times out of 10, she probably knew about you, probably knew a whole bunch of shit Absolutely. about you. But she don't owe you shit. She did not make a promise to you. Mm. When somebody says, hey, I'm promising you that I'm going to be faithful or that I'm choosing you, that is an agreement that you have amongst two different people, yeah. right? One party, other party, boom. Yeah. When somebody else, a third party comes in, why are you expecting them to honor a contract they weren't around they to agree not. to? So the only thing I'm going to say is I agree to that. Beat both of their asses up. If you know that, personally. that bitch come checking for me. Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. Now I'm going to nah, check Nah, don't beat up one of the other. Beat up both is right. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So. Right. No, no. Bro, <laughs> shit. No, because I, I agree with that. Like, check your nigga. Like, you know, but like I said, like, I think in the midst of Erica's term, I think she's very much pregnant and very much triggered. And I yeah. think because she's so bothered, she's just taking her anger out on anybody. I don't think it's right. However, I've been a pregnant woman before. It was some shit I ain't do that was always right. Like, I'm just going to be honest. I just like, think my hormones general. was like, ah. Now, what I will say, addressing that girl, <laughs> Ebony or whatever her name was. Uh, Kaylin. Kaylin Garcia. She's I, Joe Budden's oh, 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 here. Wow. Joe Budden's sex. Like, I do oh love Kaylin Garcia. Oh, my God. I just Garcia. peeped that. Not Kaylin. I love her. Oh, not not wow. Joe Budden's Kaylin Garcia. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I used Yo, to love what's her. What's up I mean, with that circle? First of all, they love, Erica and they love Sin. They love Sin. Sin and Joe. Now, Joe and Kaylin. Kaylin is a fiery. Yo, that's a lot. It's a lot. Chade, you was getting ready to touch into it. That's wild. I don't think it's ever okay to yeah. start addressing side bitches, right? But I, I, I think that, and there's a few exceptions to that, right? Right? If you know that the side don't chick, come for me, if somebody, yeah, unless I you know, she's so like, 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 yeah, you don't leave as a woman, you leave as a little girl. You know, she's trying to come for you, right? That's the first part. If the shorty is trying to come for you, she all up in your shit. It's different. Yes. It's like, all right, now, bitch, you doing too much, right? right. Because it's one thing you fuck my nigga, now you over here checking for me. Don't do it. Stop it. The second part to that is if the joint is somebody. That knew you. That knew you. Yeah. That be smiling up in your face and now all that you beat other her stuff. Up. And now it's like, now I gotta beat your ass. <laughs> beat her up. But now I gotta beat my niggas' ass too, right? Because yeah. like it yeah. goes back to be what you were saying, D. It, it's, it's, your man has that commitment to you. And so when I see women talking about, I'll beat that bitch up or if any bitch you ever fuck her. Why you so mad yeah. with that bitch? Your yeah. nigga yeah. gave to tell that you bitch why? the key. But, but she I have, did. I have, a, I have yeah. a quick little gem for y'all. The reason why a lot of girls go after other dudes and not, I mean, go after the other woman and not go after they do is because they feel like they control the other woman. They can control the other woman more than they can control their man. That's true. They feel like they're they scared of everybody, everybody yep. because they know that they can't implement any fear in their man heart. Right. Like, so I'm gonna beat your body, ass. So I'm gonna just scare that the shit out of y'all. Too yeah. much for me. Like yeah, I, I've, I've been on both sides of the street. I was okay? gonna say, but it it doesn't make any sense for me to come after you. What? It, I'm sorry, but the bitch ain't doing nothing wrong. Yo so, nigga gave her the key and she He gave her the key to the motherfucking house. house. Bitch, knowingly. So, but I will say, you know, I've been on both sides of the fence too, but like, I don't think I've ever gone at another girl because I felt like I couldn't control her. But like I said, I did feel, I have gone at bitches who came for me. Like, it's yeah. one thing again. No, you that's, yeah. that's like, personal. You know so, that's that, like, now, now, now you in my, like, now you in my facility, no, I gotta check you. But yeah. like, ultimately, like, nah, fuck her yo nigga is wild yeah like safari your girl is pregnant has your first infant baby like that baby's barely a toddler yeah okay right. Right. Barely back a back toddler. Back. Stress, so we got back okay. to back i got a toddler i got your and then i got a big son you know what i'm saying right, right. like you Absolutely. know what I'm saying? So i got three now i got three kids so i got a big son that's not your son that i'm taking care of right yeah. then i got your infant 
almost toddler your baby child, daughter, your baby and daughter, daughter, and I'm daughter. pregnant with your next child. We already are going through things, but just to be fair, you know, they've been going through their fair share of things Absolutely. with Safari cheating or whatever, whatever. Yeah. So I think for more so for Erica, she's stressed the fuck out. And yeah. that nigga is taking her through and hella now, high water. And that, the baby is premature. And, and now the baby's premature. Honestly, if you ask me, be both of them up. It's his fault. Nah. But you know what? But I'm not going to say, it's, you know, I'm not going to put it all on him. But like, honestly, like a woman's pregnancy should be like literally flawless. You like know, it shouldn't should be. Hey, it shouldn't be. What you said. Right. Hey, because you know, when they say men are supposed to protect and provide, protect me from embarrassment. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. But, you know, all I'm trying to do is bring a life into the world. Would I you mean, okay? yes. protect me from embarrassment. Like, and like, all, like, it's like she was going through this pregnancy, but. You're doing all these things like, nigga, you're I'm in the emergency room with your baby in the NICU who's premature. You're in motherfucking Jamaica. He in dead dead. Dead. <laughs> Nigga, but, 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 yo, that dance move was killing me. He, he was too, First of all, and then, and then you're doing a broke up, you're doing it wrong. And then on top of that, you Jamaican, you can't dance and I'm tired of it. Like, I'm I don't sick. like that for you. I do think that Safari is such a, is such a, I'm a, a, a corn, my fucking life. He's definitely a cornball. Nah. And I see this now nigga is how, on the motherfucking, <laughs> on the ground, like looking stupid. He looks retarded. And I now see why Nikki was like, eh. you're a clown. Yeah, you're not the one. He Keep a not couple of wet nights just a bum trying to touch me. When she Ew. first came out too, talking in different languages and different characters. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Because she didn't know what the fuck. But I, I think the whole situation between the two uh-huh. of them is very, I think they have a very toxic <laughs> and tumultuous sorry. relationship. Yeah, Their relationship yeah. is so hectic. It's of course in this limelight. So we have privy to what they allow us to see. And I think it really sucks on both ends because I think they both have their fair share of issues, mm, right? Yeah. I, do. The way I that, do, I do, I do. The way that, I, and, uh, and again, it goes back. I've never been pregnant. I don't, I've yeah. no other experience, but I know that your body goes through these hormonal changes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I do get that she's angry as hell. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, part of me feels like, you know, sis, don't address Caitlyn. But then the other part probably feels like, maybe she know like, Caitlyn, you've been around me, sis. You you know. Like, you we know what's what's some you know bitches be wildin'. So, and that, and that is very much it's true, but Don't I don't get hope me that wrong. I've the bitch or two, especially if I felt like they've know they knew me. True, like, if she true. Bitch, I never met before. You've been so around. Like, bitch don't know me. She don't owe me shit. But she was in my. You told my I love you, but you know me. That they commented on a picture or then did some other shit. Okay, commented it's on my giving, pregnancy picture. Right? Are you okay? You you? Giving, bitch, are you okay? I will kill you. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you Try know, it does go back to the point where you said, like, you know, they can't control their men. And that's true. You can beat a bitch up. You might not be able to beat your boyfriend up, right? But you Thanks. can beat that bitch ass up and rag and tell her because you have to find I a will, place I to will. misplace your anger. Like, you have to take your anger off somebody. So now you're ready to beat some girl's ass. A lot, yeah. a lot, lot of bitches is getting man. beat up by proxy. You know, you know what? I can't beat him up, but I can whoop, your I can ass. whoop that ass. <laughs> so um, now you got to see me. Hope that dick was good. Hope Are you ready to die behind, behind the dick? dick. Okay. Yeah, I'm serious. Die behind that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do think it's so shit and he's so corny because them clips y'all those clips that they're showing and again I don't know what Erica is doing I outside just, of it but the clips that they showing I wanna box him upside his head before Mink, Mink. mother like when I like, say something too from, from my consensus what I've gathered information wise a lot of women complain about being bullied while pregnant mm-hmm. mm. cause you can't cheat back you yeah, can't run nothing. out and be like I'm out with my bitches you can't make mm. a nigga feel it while you pregnant right right you right you think it's a house Ew, you don't wanna like be around what? nobody new right. you wanna be comfortable yes. and safe and in your cocoon so these men be running around knowing because you gonna be home sitting to at least six months uh-huh. after you give birth and, absolutely but don't get me wrong there are some men out there that <laughs> Listen, yeah, they will be like, Oh, you pregnant? So what? Yeah, so what? I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I got hit on so much when I was pregnant. Yes, because it was beat in the men would say, Men would say, You need a daddy for that baby. I had men say, You need a step daddy for your baby. I need to take care of their own baby. They just be like, So what you doing after you pregnant? No, they say stuff like that too. I remember one day I was in a mall, I think I was in Pentagon City Mall, and I was pregnant as hell. I just was craving Taco Bell. Y'all, yeah. y'all know y'all be eating trash when you're pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I need some cut Taco Bell, <laughs> extra sour cream. Like, just going crazy, right? Ooh, I walked is, there from my apartment. That's how I fucking know, serious I was. Drink. And the man said, how you doing? I was like, baby, I'm pregnant. He said, that's okay. Yep. 
They don't care. Listen, I've seen they many a time. I know, uh, I know a lot of men who be like, I done smashed the pregnant shorty. I'm just like, you're nasty. And you don't put your, your baby daddy somebody else's seat. Not y'all know the porn side people be having fetishes about pregnant ladies. Yeah, yeah. They, they, do. Love they do. That, that shit. pussy must be good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Let's, it let's is. Say it so. is. It is. It is. That pregnant shit Gucci. will get wet. Pregnant Gucci is definitely top we're tier. Listen, we're lubricating for the world. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So I just think the whole situation is crazy, and I do hope that she, like, in Layla this place, is that she gets ass over here. Ooh, she said it to her. She was with like, me. Uh, fucking old dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I could get some therapy though, because that's that, that's a, a tough situation. It's, well, it's traumatizing. It's absolutely traumatizing, and I think for her life to already be out on display for everybody yeah. to see yeah. uh and, and years, i mean of course though. you signed up for that shit right because you yeah. we, you signed up to be on love and hip-hop but it's and still i think i think she a little bit through. off herself yeah yeah so and what i will say is i also think like again like you know they put themselves out here in this limelight you kind of gotta get everything that comes but it also hurts at the same time yeah. so just because you expect it to come when it does come, it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. And I like, I only can imagine. And and Same I like, thing I think I have, sense. yeah, like I, I think I feel bad because it's like, I, I, that's like some of my worst fears, like being pregnant and a nigga out here and got married, me looking fucking embarrassing crazy. you doing dumb being shit. Being married, being married, I'm gonna get married in a nigga, from prison at that point. Like yeah, dead no ass bullshit. Being married and a nigga taking me for poppy short. Sure. Like, you know what's yeah. uh, like that's been a very big fear of mine. Thinking about that's a big fear you know, of mine to have children and just thinking about breaking generational curses yes. and not have, being a single mother and and having a very supportive partner. I always think like, damn, mm-hmm. I, I'm very scared of giving birth to somebody's. Somebody's baby, but that's why I tell everybody and they out here acting but but ridiculous. But you know what? That's, like, why, that's why I tell everybody is that childbirth and child rearing and being somebody mama. That's for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. bro. Shit. Mm-hmm. If you are somewhere thinking, mm, should I take the plan B or not? Take it, sis. If you don't want to have a kid, then for don't you, do it. If, yeah. if you had the thought of worst case scenario, you are alone and taking care of a baby in a shack. Would you still choose yeah. to give birth to this baby? If the answer is do no, not do don't it. Do it. Yeah, because do you it. cannot ever plan your life around yeah. another being. Yeah. That person, Absolutely. Absolutely. God forbid anything happens Bro to shit. that person. Or one day they wake up and you know what is the most hurtful of all? Mm-hmm. They change their mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because this happens. Mm-hmm. And Sometimes, I feel like that's exactly what he did. He just said it was too hard. He said, and oh, he, nah, he I was like, he was like, But it wasn't too hard when he was up in that coochie. Because guess what? You know what? I think a lot of men had this idea that Oh, marriage is just living coochie and kids are just the more the merrier. No, yeah. they need guidance. They yes, need love. Support. They need food. And you know what they need more than anything? A competent and a, a mother that's in a position to be able to give. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Emotionally. And that's why. And, and honestly, I'm going to just be honest. I was just telling my friend this the other day. Like, I really do not respect deadbeats. Um, I don't respect niggas who don't take care of their kids. Never. And when I do say that, I mean that wholeheartedly. And I mean that. 100%. In, even, I mean that even in a sense where. How could you not give a fuck about the mother of your child or your kids? Yes. Because if she's not good, your kid's not good. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what she's she she not I'm not saying, right? I'm not saying go buy her designer and shit, but I'm saying if her car go down, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, that's how your kid gets to the doctor. Exactly. That's how your kid gets to school. Yep. That's how your kid gets yep. to practice. If you do not give a fuck about the mother of your child, you're you're like you're, 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 you're dead to the world. Not like right. it's not okay. Like that's why because I said, you're like, not a leader at that point. You're not a leader at that point. If the world is off, if your kid can't function, your kids mom is so depressed she can't get out of bed to make yeah. your baby breakfast in the morning we have a bigger problem we have yes. a problem you need to be able to come and over if, and say sleep and here's yeah. the thing yeah. Yeah. my problem is actually is, stepping up to t- say you know what why you going through this let me get my kids so that you can get your shit shit together like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. like just do you know, it to do all of that shit for you yeah. like you know what why you get your shit together let me come get my kids exactly you so, so yeah. you can yeah. get your shit together i really can't i can't i can't get with the dad i hate it and i think that's my problem with safari right now i think my problem is that's the mother of your kids right now i think and responsibility I, yeah, and definitely I, and i think like at the the bare minimum keep her like just uh, anything you can do to contribute to her mental being healthy just do that right now so that your child is delivered keep safely sane. because that's why i said i didn't mean to say it was his fault that that baby is premature i don't mean that however she was going through so much that's you don't vessel. know what yeah that you were giving to her that 
continue to allow that to occur for mm-hmm. that baby to be mm-hmm. born they, premature. They just, they just like, and people do not understand that. And let's just be clear. Them babies be like, oh, no, this this fucking womb is stressful as fuck. Get me out of here. here. And yeah. they yeah. trying yeah. to buy an yeah. electric slide out the coochie <laughs> before it's time because they like, oh, no, this no, no, is no, no, this, this is, is too much. much. It's it's too much. much. I need Wait, to breathe I real air. This is not it. trying to release what it can release. They be ready to dip. They be ready to dip. I just like some success. Yeah. I just hope they get the help that they yeah. need and that that baby thrives very well and in a healthy and, environment. And shout out to preemie babies because my niece is a preemie baby and Premi she's baby. super smart and yeah. she's so yes. beautiful and she's so you big. Shout out to auntie's love, baby, Raji. Yes. yes, my baby is fully. They, she, she was in the NICU, the NICU for two months. They told her she wasn't going to be a normal kid. That baby is and out she here normal. normal as Doing but, her thing. Okay, okay. Beautiful before we wrap up, I just want to say this man, he really told her that she needed to go see somebody, which, you know, I completely support yeah, but the but, fact is he was just like oh well i'm good because she was like you well, need to see we, somebody too to see, and what about, is that about why do you think you're good and i'm not but listen exactly. to culture. what is this superior a superior thinking man. let's talk about some culture like let's talk about some cultural values and just let's talk about therapy it's within the black excuses. community it's but let's taboo. talk about therapy amongst black men yes it's especially taboo mm-hmm. because you women will go you know what they'll figure it out they'll be like you know what i'll, I'll seek some help but black men sometimes don't see fit that they need to seek out therapy. Like, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. You're the crazy one. Let me put the blame on you because you're crazy. It's and the I feel like that's me. Exactly and, what he did. and you heard in the clip where he was like, she was like, how could you do that? And he was like, well, why would you throw your 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 our marriage pictures away? And she's like, you tweeted to the world that I was, that was the worst your thing. biggest mistake. And you say that Twitter is not real. And it's like, so you, you that's some gaslighting shit. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Like the back and forth that he did was like, yo, bro, do you not realize what the fuck you just said? Like something is really wrong with Can you. I, something is. I want to. I want to speak to this really quickly. Just, just to really like wrap up everything that I feel mm-hmm. about the clips and everything. I feel that one, unfortunately, like you said, be according to culture and according to the patriarchal stance that a lot of us have yeah. in the black community. It's unfortunate, but we lack awareness. Mm-hmm. Um and we lack accountability. Yes. Mm. Um and, and it starts there. In order to have accountability, you have to take account for self. Mm-hmm. That's the root of it all. In order to take account, you must be aware of what mm-hmm. to take account of. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, we live in this space where so many women, especially as we raise these young black boys, they turn into men. We so busy saying, ain't nothing wrong with you, baby. You mommy, baby. You ain't never leave mama. Your daddy yeah. left mama, but you ain't leave me. Mm-hmm. Anything you need, I got for you. I'll do it for you. You don't need nobody but your mama. So when they become older, yeah. mm-hmm. they are so crippled emotionally. They don't know how to function unless somebody's carrying them. Yes. That's true. Yes. They don't know yes. how to give unless somebody's giving them something to give. Mm-hmm. And even then, it's kind of like, oh, I don't have to give that. My mama said I'm perfect the way that I am. And I feel like that's exactly with that but they go with the way that black with mamas girls, coddle black boys and, right. and, and disrespect their black right. daughters. And when they, because you want me to tell you why, and this is about to, I'm about to shake the fucking table. Shake it up. <laughs> they coddle their black boys because they want their sons to be the man that they never had. Ooh, because that they're walking around talking about my son is this is my king this is the only man I'll ever love I asked God to provide me a man and he sent me my son it's like sis that is not the because man that God sent you to your love. baby he needed you and that's yeah. why he, you guys have that bond yeah but the thing is is that they look at their their daughters like oh child you got a hard life just like I had a hard life I don't have time I to made it work yeah, yeah. I, I made, made it work through, you won't have to get it out the mud or they or they try to help as much as possible but it's not the same with their boys Men, women is kind of like, well, I ain't got nothing, but I had a son. You the best thing that ever happened. <laughs> it's giving, when they become adults, we love that love for these baby boys. Yes. But when they become adults, it's giving, huh, I'm God's gift to the world. I don't have to love yeah. you. I don't have to add to My mama said yes. I was this. Yes, yes. And they don't and take you no don't accountability me, I just for what the fuck they doing now. I don't need no girl to do nothing me. Because my mama going to do it for me. They turn into me Meanwhile, people. their black daughters are struggling, don't know how to self-identify, don't know how to get through stuff but because they also, don't have that love. Mm-hmm. That's also why so many black women are, are like, okay, we yeah. are the first ones to say, well, I'm going to go to therapy because we're the first ones to feel like maybe something wrong with me. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And it's not enough accountability from other parties where we feel comfortable saying, well, I'm validated in what I'm going through because... This is a shared deficit. This is not just me. Absolutely. Right? So I feel like it's a problem there. I feel like so many women are bullied being pregnant, being being single, being not with child, with child, skinny, fat, tall, short, uh, pygmy, midget, whatever you want to say, all shapes and sizes. There's so many different issues 
especially if you're waiting for your validation to come from a man who never was taught that he must provide assurance. Yeah, absolutely. Assurance is like a big thing. It's a huge thing. People, I don't, I shouldn't have to tell you this. I shouldn't have to, you should already know. Why? Your mama told you why you can't tell me. Right. Why you can't be there. And it, it, it really leads into a, a different topic of how women really carry the brunt of, you know, they're really blamed for being single mothers and they have to carry the brunt and the weight of when shit goes down downward and you know that's a yeah. different topic in itself where's and the it's saying just, just gotta like, lay my burns down bitch no that's sister not. like it's, it's such it's such a, I, I, in general the black community has a lot of baggage that they need to unpack and really do and a lot of people don't want to realize that systemically a lot of this plays a role in how our families operate and stuff and so just seeing this shit played out it's sad it is sad and I just put more so, food yeah. on a man's let's, plate less food on a girl plate I'm uh-huh. gonna go make that man play don't be sitting right here don't let him make his own plate why his legs work, work right you know, but if you start going against some of these things oh, it's like she, she ain't a good woman, woman. Yep. she ain't wrong. traditional but it's given we're not in the traditional space when anymore when he make a meal he don't even think about you but you gotta yeah. get up and make his plate before yeah, even home. and don't let him be at the cookout. Another woman make his play. Woo, child. Oh, she yeah. happy, man. You yeah. want that? It's given. It's Ladies, given. I'm gonna tell you what is given. It's given the same way them grand great 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 grandmammies had to serve them slave masters. That's yeah. how they serve they men. Yeah, yes. and, and let me tell you something. That's how they serve way. their sons. Yeah. And that's how they expect the woman to serve yeah. their man. Ooh, here, that's, so. a, that's a different topic yeah, for a different, a different day. Topic. And we Ooh. and we deserve I feel like we all as black women, as women in general, I'm I'm just gonna say this as women in general, there's a lot of shit that we carry. And yeah. I feel like especially as women of of, of African American yeah, black women. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I feel like it's we deserve grace. That's the, that's that's the word for me. Period. You know, as I lead up into this 30 year old mark, we deserve grace. Absolutely. We shouldn't have to teach you every motherfucking thing. Come with something. Well, everything, yeah. everything should not be so Child, separate. They said that we don't have nothing to bring to the table but coochies. So, so I mean, but baby, if my coochie oh, is the table because you came out of one, I'm gonna need you to pipe the fuck down. Episode we, seventy three. Seventy three. Chance is seventy three, and the coochie shot, be yeah. in the table. Okay, the coochie is the table. <laughs> the is the table. <laughs> All right. Eat good.